what's going on guys welcome back to another video and another emergency update because as you guys are probably aware the price of bitcoin ethereum and about 90 percent of all cryptocurrencies are dumping right now again for the second time so yesterday we had a dump today again and in this video i want to talk about the dump and what i'm looking at and just something i have to mention guys because last week i did a video saying that i'm cautious and something that i was actually telling you guys on that video last week the reason why I was cautious because of all the greed going on. If you haven't watched the video, definitely watch that. And what I said on that video, guys, is as well that I will not be trading for short term. I will be taking a break of trading. Now, obviously, most of you guys understood it because it made sense what I said. I, I guess we're seeing it right now, right? But some people took it the wrong way and thought I'm bearish. Guys, $1.2 billion has been wiped out just from liquidated longs on leverage trading 1.2 billion dollars in the last 24 hours guys that's crazy and that's just with bitcoin ethereum seven over 700 million dollars of longs have been liquidated on exchanges guys these numbers are just insane just insane guys i mean so many people just got liquidated with these huge huge i mean with this 20 percent dump right and this is exactly what I was telling you guys last week why I did stop leverage trading for a while because obviously as I said there I did not feel confident to leverage trade at those times. Now guys I didn't say I'm bearish I just said that the correction is very very possible and healthy and here we are it happened right and I'm not saying I'm here predicting things but it's just what I mentioned and it's exactly what happened. Something I have to make you aware guys that if you leverage trade you're taking a huge huge risk right that's already the way it is and in special times like when i mentioned it then i just felt that it was the time to take a break from lever trading now but guys it doesn't stop me trading my obviously buying and hodling that's completely different things and um as i've been mentioning yesterday and today again i've actually been doing it i am buying the dips i am buying the dips but again this is a hodl position this is not trades this is hodling so i've been loading up on some of my favorite uh, uh projects coins and uh, things that i wanted to add to my positions to my to my portfolio and that's what i've been doing my guys important even when you do load up don't go all in at once you want to go in obviously slowly dollar cost average but let's say if the price goes down now and you have for example one thousand dollars that you want to spend to invest if you put in the whole one thousand dollars at one time and six hours later the price is down another ten percent you'll be a bit disappointed you could have bought it for cheaper so always obviously i would say just don't jump all in at once just like you buy and sell same strategy don't buy all at once don't sell all at once but anyways guys let's have a quick look at the charts of bitcoin and ethereum and see what's going on so guys this is the bitcoin chart on the one hour candles and the price of bitcoin has slightly retraced it's at forty eight thousand dollars, as you guys can see but we came all the way down to forty five thousand, roughly so Wow, that's been actually a hard, hard dump. I mean, you can see here, this is yesterday's wick. Look how big this wick is, I showed you guys yesterday. But right now, we are trading above this wick of yesterday, but we came lower than yesterday's target, than yesterday's price. Let's zoom out a bit and go into the four hourly candle. And wow, you can see from the top here, from the 57,000, it's a huge dump. I mean, not huge, but yes, it is quite big. Now, this line here is a support line that I believe if we do come lower, I think this line here will act as support. So this is around the $43, $8 level. But yeah, this is Bitcoin chart. Let's just zoom out even further down to the daily charts. And you can see this is quite a big daily red candle. Well, two red candles. So this is Bitcoin right now. Now, what do I think? and what am i doing personally i'm not panicking i have my whole position which i haven't touched and um, in fact as i just mentioned i did add some more during the dip so i'll show you what i did add this is the ethereum chart and you can see right now well you can see this blue line here that we had here all the time this is the previous all-time high you can see we came down towards the all-time high the previous all-time high 1440 ish level we did have a week below but we're obviously now above and that's where i actually did purchase some more ethereum when we hit this previous all-time high i just added some more ethereum to my whole position now guys to be fair i've been buying ethereum a while back so i didn't think it was necessary 
because I've been buying Ethereum at much, much lower prices than even this. But I just said, you know what, let me buy the dip. Uh, although I didn't go aggressively in, but uh, yeah, that's just what I've done. Now, this is a 15 minutes chart. And you can see at the moment, we're still on a downtrend. So I want to see us breaking above this line here. And then maybe we can have some consolidation and then maybe move slowly upwards. But right now we're still on a downtrend. However, it seems like this area here at the moment, we're bouncing around here, the 14, between the 1450 to 1500 level at this moment. So we have to wait and see how that plays out. And let me show you Bitcoin as well for the short term. The same thing here. As you can see, we are on a downtrend, as you see this trend line here. And we're getting quite close to this trend line, so we'll have to see how that plays up for the short term. But this is more or less what's going on with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So guys, I mean, I know so many people are panicking right now, right? So many people are just like, it's over, it's over, right? I mean, guys, come on, guys, take the chill pill. Honestly, I mean, I, I can understand some people because if you're new to the crypto space and this is probably your first major crash, uh, well, it's not major, but this is probably your first crash, then I can get the point. People are stressing out. But personally, me, I used to do that when I started buying crypto a couple of years ago. But right now, it doesn't really bother me anymore. I mean... If, in fact, I actually look at it in a different way, you know, it depends, obviously, but in certain times, I do take the opportunity to buy the dip. Simple as that, guys. And this is not advice what you should be doing. You should do what you think. Of course, if you invest your money, you do your own research. Of course, everything comes with a risk. Nothing is guaranteed. But if you do your research and believe a risk is worth taking, then it's up to you guys. But the point what I'm trying to say is, People have to calm down. People should not panic sell. People who panic sell are the ones that end up in a loss. You know, as I've been telling people the other day, smart money buys the dips. Dumb money buys the pumps, you know, and this is just the way it is. So if you are quite new to crypto space, this is very normal for the crypto market. It's just another day in the crypto market. I mean, when last week, when the price was $45,000, $46,000, people were happy with it. Right now, the price is $48,000 and people are panicking. I mean, it just does not make sense, right? So guys, don't panic. Don't panic. Crypto is volatile. We all know that. Or if you don't know that, you should know that by now, of course, after today and yesterday. And personally, me, my hodl positions stay the way they are. And as I mentioned before, I did stop trading, leverage trading for now, because trading in this volatility is very, very risky. I mean, look at this, one, one wick can liquidate you within, within seconds, right? And if you have a large amount of money, you know, on leverage, it's, it's, it's just extremely, extremely risky. Unless you're really professional and willing to take that risk, that's fine. But personally, me, I'm not willing to lose or to lose my crypto, my Bitcoin or Ethereum on a leverage trade. But this is just me, guys. So, guys, this is just a quick update. I might do another update later on. We'll see. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Of course, give this video a like. And also, guys, I might do another video later on or tomorrow because I did have quite a few requests doing videos of all coins, what all coins are like. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, like. And, of course, if you want to buy Bitcoin through the best exchange with the lowest fees around, use Swissberg. My link is in my description. You can get up to 100 euros of free Bitcoin if you go through my referral link. So guys, see you on my next video. Bye now.